El fuego, let me get some fire. Can we go? Boom. Okay. Whew. All right, it's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. No, we're not gonna do that. Okay, the hot take. 2024 will be the biggest year for direct to consumer marketing since the first year of COVID. And that's gonna kick off a four year run. That's gonna turn currently unknown brands or ones that haven't even been founded yet into mass market winners. The economy is recovering. Meritocracy based on business acumen is the single biggest unfair advantage. And Facebook is already mature. TikTok is already mature. The hacks just don't work, and the hacks that use them keep failing. Folks who embrace simple business principles are going to have an unfair advantage they haven't had since the early 2000s. And what this will bring them more than anything is cash flow and stability in their business. Remember, hockey stick growth and highly volatile results are the enemy of building an empire. Unless you're the person taking a commission off of the success or failure of others. Yeah. I'm talking to you, agency scammer sphere. You know who you are. You're the ones taking offense to me saying that right now. So here are the three red flags to look out for, for this, again, flaming hot take. Let's throw the fire back up and maybe a red flag over here. Okay, whoo, number one. Somebody suggests using cost caps and advantage shopping to promote multiple offers at the positive contribution margin. Contribution margin isn't cash flow. It's a transaction. When you are spending money to acquire customers, a customer is different than a transaction. A customer isn't somebody that buys from you. A customer is somebody that buys from you more than once. And the ability to predict that future behavior and even begin to budget and plan accordingly to their future behavior is what sets you apart from being a salesperson to being a business. You can either live and die as a hunter or you can feed a hundred times as many people for far less work as a farmer. The advantage of contribution margin as a marketer is that you can sell it to somebody to promote their ego while taking a percentage of their revenue, regardless of whether or not they're cash positive at the end of the day. Red flag number two. Somebody uses audiences. This has been something I've been saying for five years, and it's quite literally no data to support an opposing argument. But yet somehow we're still in a place where people are still talking about interest groups and lookalikes and Shopify audiences and Proxima and whatever else there is out there that just doesn't actually mean anything other than somebody profiting off of your ignorance and ultimately taking advantage of your ego while lying to you and taking a percentage of your revenue. Again, whether or not you're cash positive. It has been six years since Facebook went to an optimized CPM environment. That's six years since audiences were ultimately made obsolete. It's six years of these folks who try to sell you hacks and push things like ROAS and MER. Six years they've had the chance to evolve. And it's six years that instead of evolving, challenging themselves to get better, they've chosen instead to profit by lying to your ego. Again, regardless of the impact of your business. And if your business fails, they blame you. And if your business is successful, they take credit for it, even though they might be the reason it fails and they might not have anything to do with the success. And more importantly, if it fails, they're not gonna share your horror story. They're not gonna share your failure or the dozens and dozens and dozens of others. They're gonna share the story of the one brand that succeeded even though they had nothing to do with it. The brand that would have been successful without them. And the third thing, the third red flag, we're gonna close it out on this, is the use of the word hack. This is the easiest red flag possible. The days of true arbitrage are far, far behind us. Piecing together lies of smoke and mirrors and duct tape and cost caps, advantage shopping and branded search. Well, they just never build success. It's an unsustainable path forward. You can look good now, but when it fails, when it fails, not if, it won't be the fault of the marketer that lied to you because they're doing what you asked them to. It's gonna be your fault for not focusing on the business. And that's a hard pill to swallow, but I'm letting you know that now so that you don't fall victim to that abuse. There's a reason why this salesman of snake oil was a traveling one. And there's a reason why you don't hear about 99% of agency clients. And that's a weird way to end it, but that's how we do it here. Once again, there's the QR code for the Facebook Ads MBA program. If you wanna never have to worry about any of this nonsense ever again, get your Facebook ads management down to a couple hours a week and massively scale your business with cash flow and stable results. Yeah, that's the path. 
Um, and once again, I just want to say thank you 